Hey VCC family, this is Rhonda Bordis, and I wanted to talk to you about um, commanding your morning. We learned about declarations in VSSM and EPIC, and that's pretty much what commanding your morning is. It's declarations. Um, when you awake in the morning, you begin to decree and declare over your life. And one of the things that I, I learned from doing this is two things. One, you activate the angelic realm. And according to Psalms 103 verse 20, it says that the angels hearken unto the voice of the Lord or they heed the commands of the Lord, which basically means when you speak the word, they execute it. Um, and the second thing is the way we think about our circumstances and situations begin to change. That hopelessness, that feelings of being stuck, um, that we're never gonna get out of this begin to change. And we begin to have hope. We begin to see a tunnel with a light ahead. We begin to see and um, experience the word of God in our um, life. And so as we continue to declare over our mornings and declare the word of God over our lives in the morning, we really set the tone for the day. Um, the things that happened throughout the day didn't seem as um, big because we elevated the word over our circumstances and it magnified God instead of the things that we experience. And so one of the things that I want to make sure that I'm clear about is that Declaring the word of God does not substitute for time in prayer, does not substitute for time in the word. What we did do was we found as we were reading the word and we began to read things in scripture that we didn't see in our lives, we actually started making those prayers. And also out of those prayers came declarations. So when we saw something that didn't reflect in our own personal life, we said, okay, here's an opportunity to make this a prayer. Here's an opportunity to make this a declaration. And here's an opportunity to change our mind and how we thought about our circumstances and situations and how we saw God and how we saw ourselves in his eyes. And so I just want to encourage you to just begin to declare your morning and just begin to speak over your life. Just begin to create those declarations. And it doesn't have to be um, lengthy. Like we took scriptures, like I stated, and we made declarations of them. And they're not lengthy. They're very short, but they're very powerful because they are the word of God. And here's an example for Revelation. When I was believing God to give me revelation for things in my life or circumstances or people around me, I just decreed, I declared that God is showing me confined and hidden things, bringing revelation into my life. That's Jeremiah 33 and 3. And when I believe God to open doors, I just spoke um, Isaiah 22 and 22 over my life. And I said, I declare that God is opening doors that no man can shut and closing doors that no man can open. And these are the declarations that we do over our lives. And if you don't have a lot of time to spend in prayer for a lengthy amount of time, um, declarations, taking scriptures and just reinforcing what you've already studied and meditated on and just releasing that over your life in the morning is amazing. It changes the way you think and it acts to, activates the angelic realm. And it does another thing. Um, it commits scripture to memory. And so the Bible says, I hid your word in my heart that I might not sin against you, which means you have to have the word hidden in your heart so that there's something that can be brought up so that it there's it tells you hey you're you're going into a direction that you shouldn't go into or hey you're moving in too fast or whatever it is the holy spirit is saying to you because that scripture is hidden in your heart so I just want to encourage you to begin to declare your morning doing it every day is amazing but if you miss a day it's okay because we've missed days and it's been okay, but we recognize the difference when we miss a day. So we want to create a habit of doing it. It's not um, so much of a religion where, oh, we got to do it at 7 a.m. in the morning or it's just not going to happen. No, when we get up, we make an effort to do it every morning. 
It doesn't have to be a certain time of the morning, but it definitely happens before we start our day. And we definitely get to see a difference throughout that day. So I just want to encourage you to just begin to speak the word over your life. Begin to decree and declare the word of God in the morning. And watch the changes that happen in your mind and in your heart and in your circumstances.